Hi everyone, my name is Michaela, and today I'm going to be sharing with you some things that I purchased recently from some estate sales and thrift stores and flea markets. And for the first time ever, I actually had some estate sale drama. I never thought it would happen, but I'm going to share that story with you in just a little bit. But for now, let's just get started and I'll share all the items that I found with you all. So this came from my local Salvation Army. It is this shelf. So it has these four little sections here and it has some pads on the bottom so you can set it down somewhere. Um, and then it does have some hooks right here. So if I did want to hang it up on the wall, I could. I'm not sure what I'm going to do yet, but I'm really excited to have some little trinkets to put in here. I love little shelves like this. It just gives me more excuses to load it full of stuff. <laughs> Now, this one was a really exciting find. It is this fall looking teapot. So it has these leaves on it. And I love things in this color with um, like this brownish amber color. I really like amber glass. Um, and then I love these brown colors, but this was only $4, which I think was a really good price for a nice teapot. I then found this really big vase at a local thrift store. I believe this was only $3, but I really love these colors, this dark brown and light color together. And the ones with the smaller mouths like this, it's a little easier to put flowers in them, I feel. So I was really excited to decorate with this. So in a flea market not too far from where I live, I got this duck planter. And this booth that I found this in, everything was half off. So he was originally $5, but I got him for $2.50. And I just think he's so pretty. He might look good in my husband's office. He's doing like a sportsman themed office. We haven't got to it yet, but when we do, I have plenty of decor. <laughs> but in that same booth, I was so excited to find this. It is a soup terrine and it was 15, but like I said, half off. So I got this for 750, which I think is a great price. And it looks very clean and nice on the inside. And it is a fairly large soup terrine. So I am so excited to not only decorate with this, but probably use this for the upcoming holidays. And this is a really exciting find. I believe this goes to an oil lamp. So it's kind of like milk glass maybe. I'm not really good on these terms. So if you know if this is milk glass, please comment below and tell me. Um, but I think it went to an oil lamp or some kind of lamp, but I'm just going to decorate with this because it is really pretty. It has that Victorian kind of grandma core look that I'm really into. And I just love this white color. White goes with everything. So <laughs> really excited to find this. And you never know, I might eventually find an oil lamp to put it on. I am looking for one of those um, oil lamps that actually looks like oil lamp, but it's electric. I'm too nervous to burn kerosene in my house, but <laughs> I would love to find one to put that on. I then found this little lady. She is blue and white, and I just like her because she kind of looks like she's from the Victorian era, and she was only $1.50, so it's a really good price, and I can stick her in one of my um, hutches or a shelf, and she'll just add a little bit of uh, a little bit of class to the shelf. This is another fall themed piece. It is this wood looking cutting board and it says our daily bread. And isn't it just beautiful? Look at these leaves and it has a nice like um, cherry walnut colored uh, stain to it. I just think it was so pretty. Now this was like $5 um, and honestly I can be pretty cheap when it comes to prices but this was so beautiful and it feels like very nice quality so i felt like five dollars was a good price for it so it's gonna look so great for fall and thanksgiving decorating next is this plate that has deer on it a really nice buck and doe this is for my husband again for his office and i want to say this was only like two dollars it was pretty affordable so I'll have to get in some of those uh, plate hangers that you can put, um, you know, on the back of these plates to put up on the wall so that he can put that in his office somewhere. Next, I found some books from Salvation Army. These are all 50 cents a piece. This one is called Three O'Clock Dinner, but I just really like this dark color and the faded gold on the outside. I think that looks so nice. And this one is called The Scribner Treasury. 22 classic tales, but again, I just like the color and the writing here on the side. I just think looks so nice. I love decorating with old books because you can just do so many things with them. And then this one is called Epidemic by Frank G. Slaughter. 
Again, I'm probably never gonna read these, but I just think the writing is super pretty. It'll be so great, it'll blend in with all my antique stuff <laughs> that I have to decorate with. So this is a little Thanksgiving turkey candle holder. He's from a local thrift store. I think he was only a dollar. And when I went up to pay, the lady told me that there was another one, but I guess someone got it. I would have loved to have a pair of two, but he is so cute and he will look so great on the Thanksgiving table. Whenever it comes time to decorate for all that stuff, I will definitely use him. And then at that same thrift store, I got this really large basket. Or, oh, I'm sorry, this was from Salvation Army. This was only $3, and it's huge. It has a handle. I love baskets. You can organize with them. You can decorate with them. They can be multi-purpose. I just love them. So, really excited to find this. Um, it's not an absolutely perfect shape. It has one little area here. It's kind of loose, but that doesn't bother me. Um, it still will do what I need it to do and look pretty at the same time. Okay, so now we're going to talk about the estate sale. <sighs> so my friend Dusty on here, she, um, I'll link her channel below. She talks about sometimes there's drama at estate sales and I have never had that experience, but this time me and my husband did. So we found this estate sale online from estatesales.net. I'll link that as well. So if you want to go find them in your area, you can. But anyways, we went there, we had never been, um, the people that were over this, we had never been to any of their sales before. So we went in there and looked, there was a lot of people in there. Um, and we just noticed that like a lot of the stuff was really picked over, but we was like, okay, we'll just do a quick walkthrough. So we walked through, um, I found, I'm gonna show you what I found. So I got this little uh, canister. <laughs> this was only $3 and it just opens up like this. I just like how it looks on the front and I love the golden brass details. And then I found these two tarnished silver spoons for $2 for both of them, which I thought was a really great price. Um, and then I got a little box of matches for a dollar, which those are in there somewhere, but it's this tiny little box of matches. But anyways, we get up to pay. And so these spoons had masking tape wrapped around it with the price on it. Um, and then I also got these refrigerator magnets in a set of five and they had masking tape around them too. So me and my husband, we set our stuff up on the table, right? We're ready to pay. And the two ladies that were there doing the checkout area, she just stopped. She picked up the items and she looked at them and she goes, who priced these this low? And I mean, just completely ignored me and my husband. And she looked at the lady next to her and she was like, who priced these this low? We never, we never put prices this low. And me and my husband immediately got the feeling that she was trying to say that we changed the prices. And we just both felt so, so uncomfortable. We actually were, later on I had talked to my husband and we both were thinking like, we were about to just say, you can keep your stuff and we'll just leave. Um, and then right after that, she picked up the little matchbox and she was like, how much was this, 50 cents? And I was like, no, it was a dollar. And the table was right in front of her where all the matches were. So I think she was actually trying to test us and see if we would tell her the right price. And I said, no, it was a dollar. Because after that, her whole attitude just changed. All of a sudden she was nice, which I want to give her the benefit of the doubt. Maybe she was actually just wondering who priced on that low, but me and my husband both felt the same way. We felt that she was trying to accuse us of changing the prices because we literally just stood there in line with lots of other people around us while she completely ignored us and looked at the lady next to her and was just like, who, who priced these this low? We don't price these this low. And she picked up the refrigerator mac and she was like, I mean, there's like five of these. Why would we only put a dollar? And it was just so, so uncomfortable. And so now when we are looking for estate sales online, if we see that they are over it, we just decided we're gonna skip that one because it was just not a good experience. Um, and it just made us feel really uncomfortable because me and my husband both would never steal anything and we would never change prices because that is a form of stealing and that is wrong. The Bible tells us so. <laughs> but anyways, that was my first time having any kind of estate sale drama um, and I hope it doesn't happen again because it made me and my husband both feel very uncomfortable. <laughs> but anyways, I still found some great things. I'm happy about what I got. Comment down below and let me know, have you ever had any drama at an estate sale or thrifting or anything? I just want to know if this is common or if it's just something that randomly happens. 
But anyways, I'll stop griping now and get on to the rest of the stuff. Okay, so from one of our local thrift stores, I found these two pillowcases. They were wrapped up together, both were a dollar, and I just think it's a really cottagey looking print. I love it and they feel kind of like a flannel feel which will be really good for winter time to have some extra warmth. I usually don't ever find anything like in the sheets and pillowcases section so I was excited to find those. I then got this brass tray or plate. It has like this handle piece on it but I really love how tarnished and old it looks. It was very cheap. It was a dollar. Um, I can definitely decorate with this for fall and all the seasons. And then my husband found these um, plates at a flea market. So this one has a bear on it and these actually have the hangers on the back. And then this one has a duck or a goose. I think it's a duck. <laughs> Anyways, these are really affordable. I think they were like $2 each. The booth that he found these in had everything half off. So he grabbed these for his office. I then found this picture at Salvation Army. It was only $5. It has a really pretty picture on it. And then this texture here is like a fabric or almost a felt feel, but I really like it. And the frame is very heavy wood, so it's nice quality. I would love decorating with this. I feel like it could go well for fall, just with the colors and stuff and the whole look of the picture. I'm really excited to use that. And then my husband found this at that flea market for his office. It is a shelf with a fish on it and it has these pegs. I think this was only like $6, which is a pretty good price, I feel like. I actually think it's really nice looking. I'm not into the sportsman theme um, for myself, but I do think that's actually really pretty. I also got this wall hanging shelf at a thrift store. I think this was like $2. Um, it feels like really nice quality and I can definitely set something up there. So, and then I found this um, lady here. I don't think she's a Native American lady, but anyway, she just looks like someone that I could use to decorate for fall. She's holding some wheat in her hand and she's got wheat on her dress. So she will be really cute for fall. I think she was only a dollar. So she was a very good price. My husband also found this really big sign. I mean, I'm going to lean back so you can see it all. Um, I think he got this for like $7. It says early to bed, early to rise, fish all day, makeup lies, <laughs> which I thought was really funny. We both were laughing at it and we just thought that would look so good in his office. And for anyone who's seen it, it'd give him a good laugh. So if you have been a subscriber to my channel for a while, you know that I love Native American stuff. And I found this picture of this Native American man. This was at a yard sale and it was just an older man. He was really kind. Um, he actually talked to my husband for a while and he even gave my husband a hunting knife, which was super kind. He just said, if you like that, you can have it. But this was only $3 and it's a really large picture. And I just think he looks like a really cool Native American man. It does have a little bit of damage right in there, but that doesn't bother me. He will still look good up on the wall. Next, I found this lampshade, which looks very Victorian era to me. It has lace and it's the style that will go onto any um, light bulb. You know, like this just clips over the top of the light bulb. This was at Salvation Army and it was really cheap. It was like 50 cents. I just love it. I think it's so pretty. And I can put this on a lamp or just set it on a shelf somewhere. I also found these lace curtains. I believe these are called valances. I just thought these were really, really pretty. That came in a set of two. I will probably eventually put these in my kitchen, maybe. I don't know yet. Maybe here in the sunroom where I'm filming. But these were really cheap. I think I got both of them for $2. And curtains are one of those things that can be kind of expensive, so it's exciting when you find them for really good prices. Okay, y'all, so that is all that I have to share today. I thank you so much for watching. God bless each and every one of you, and I will see you next time. Bye!